Thank you for joining us. Tonight. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. So we have to start with the quarterback talk, the quarterback battle that we have going on. Kyle Trask, Baker Mayfield. Yep. Is there a point that you're sort of looking at that you expect one or the other to start pulling away? Well, Dave Canales has talked about the fact that he wants this thing to go a ways. Uh, he d wouldn't mind it going all the way through the entire preseason. Um, I think, and I've written about this before on PeterReport.com, if it's Baker Mayfield's job to lose, which I believe it is, and if he is getting to the point where he is not turning the ball over, uh, I think by maybe the second preseason game, you can pretty much say he's the guy because it, it certainly benefits the team if Baker Mayfield has the majority of reps for that final preseason game and also heading into the last couple weeks of training camp to get the majority of reps to be a starter. But the path for Kyle Trask becoming a starter is if Baker Mayfield slips up right. and turns the ball over and Kyle Trask does not. Dave Canales himself. We've heard the reaction through the offseason program. The players say there's different twists. Yeah. They're very excited about it. I don't think we're going to know anything until we see this guy call plays. Yeah. I know it's not high stress in the preseason, but how excited are you to see Dave Canales run an NFL offense? Uh, it's pretty exciting. When you look at, at what we've seen so far in the mini camp and also in the OTAs, he really has, uh, has taken the Seattle Seahawks offense, which has got some elements of, of L.A. Rams in it, San Francisco 49ers, brought it to Tampa Bay, put his own spin on it. We're going to see a lot more horizontal-based offense. That means more rollouts, waggles, bootlegs with the quarterbacks. That's going to get defenses going side to side. The Bruce Arians offense was more vertical-based down the field with comebacks and curls. This is more slants, skinny posts, crossers, mesh routes where it's going to take defenses sideline to sideline in their coverage, but then there's also some play action vertical elements that's really gonna make this offense have some big playability down the field too. Uh, the players love it so far. The Bucks defense has been challenged with it <laughs> so far, so that's a good thing. You mentioned the, the big playability. Do you expect to see a big jump with the chemistry between the quarterbacks and the receivers from OTAs to training camp? Or are we looking at the chemistry maybe wait until the start of the season. I think it's going to take some time now. It, it, what everybody wants and hopes to see is Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask become the next Geno Smith uh, up there in Seattle, getting his first chance to be a starter up there behind Russell Wilson after he was traded to Denver. And, you know, he worked out well for him. 4,000 yard season, uh, was a Pro Bowl player for the first time as a 32 year old journeyman and was the NFL Comeback Player of the Year award. The problem is Geno Smith was in that system for a couple of years and already had the chemistry with, with Tyler Lockett, with DK Metcalf, et cetera. So it's different with Baker Mayfield and Kyle Trask because they are new in terms of throwing to Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Even though Trask has been here, he didn't get to throw to those guys. So I think it's going to take a while for this chemistry to develop, but uh, it, it's a very quarterback-friendly system. It's an easy system to learn, and I think that's going to accelerate the learning curve for either Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask or both.